It's interesting how I, in my own way, I guess, sought justice. <sighs> there were many times that I would call the police, but never file charges. It was simply because I feared him. I speak out as a survivor and, and now as an advocate against domestic abuse and violence, and, and my personal experience is what has determined my passion for what I do in that regard. This is something that I take with me wherever I go. My name is Geraldine Lafter. I'm the director of the Totonaje Shelter located on the Navajo Nation. We provide shelter services to victims of domestic violence and also sexual assault. what these ladies go through when they come into the shelter, hearing their stories. It just shocks me every time. The violence can be so, so bad. When we don't have the support or law enforcement there to help, the ladies lose a lot of faith in that system, that it's not there to help them. And they at times feel that they don't have anywhere else to go. And sometimes they feel the only thing they can do is just go back to the abuser, too. There was a lady, she had been in, a, in and out of our shelter a couple of times. She was severely um, injured by her abuser. And when the police finally had come to, come to get her, um, he had beaten her so, so bad that she couldn't move. She was not in the capacity to complete a police report because of how hurt she was but nobody did it for her. The Navajo Nation should have filed a police report on her behalf because of the severity of the incident. That was an attempt on her life, and I think it could, it could have even gone to the federal level to where they could have taken this case and prosecuted him. I don't know why it never went either way but you know, I know that this person is still out there, and I know that possibly the lady is still out there you know, trying to stay safe and away from this perpetrator. We can only do so much to protect our, our women and our people, and I think if we all come together and understand that this is a societal issue where our laws and, and legislative policies are, are being made within the, the tribal government itself, as well as working with the state and the federal government. Having been there and, and knowing the feeling that comes from such disempowerment and rising above it all, you know, is the hope in, in itself. You never know who's listening. You never know, you know, who may be in an abusive relationship. And for them to know that there are people who care and that they're not alone. There is help out there and there is somebody who will listen to you and believe your story.